Hi guys, tonight I'm going to be making gluten-free salad to the board of pizza. I have really missed making this recipe since going gluten-free nine weeks ago. The original recipe calls for using a Jiffy corn muffin mix, which does have gluten in it, and you're also adding additional wheat flour to it. So I'm coming up with my own recipe to make this crust. I'll be using gluten-free Bisquick and Bob's Red Mill gluten-free cornmeal, corn flour, and all-purpose baking flour. I'll put all the measurements down below. I have all the dry ingredients measured out into a bowl. I'm going to use a wire whisk to thoroughly incorporate everything. Brown up approximately one to one and a half pounds of ground beef. After your ground beef has browned, drain off the fat, then add salsa of your choice. You just want to add enough just to coat the beef. So I have approximately a little over a cup of salsa. I'm just going to heat this through. Now I'm going to add the egg and the milk to the dry ingredients. I'm going to use a fork to help mix it all together. I used a fork to mix all the ingredients together, then at the end I just used my hand just to make sure it's all mixed thoroughly. So it's a little bit moist. It's a little bit hard to get together at first, but eventually it will work its way together. Place your dough on a greased pizza pan. At first it seems like it's going to be difficult to spread it out. What I did was I took some Crisco and I put it on my hand to coat it and then I put my hand in warm water and I just kept pressing the dough until it eventually filled out the whole pan. It does take about a minute or so but eventually it will spread out. Next, top the dough with the meat mixture. Bring it to within an inch of the edge. We're going to bake it in a 400 degree oven for 15 minutes. The pizza's been baking for 15 minutes. I topped it with about a cup and a half of a Mexican blend of cheese. This is Monterey Jack, mild cheddar, and taco seasoning. I'm going to put it back in the oven for about five more minutes till the cheese melts. I wasn't sure how long it was going to take to bake the pizza. I cooked it for an additional five minutes until the cheese melted, and then I just took my spatula and just cut off a little edge just to make sure that the dough was cooked and it is. I'm now going to place it under the broiler just for a moment to get it nice and golden brown. It only took a minute under the broiler. You want to keep an eye on it because you don't want to burn the cheese. I'm serving my pizza with sliced tomato and avocado, a little bit of sour cream and extra salsa. This is a southwestern corn mix that comes with peppers and onions. I tried a little sliver of it and it tastes really good. Dinner served. Got a nice crust. So happy with this result.